the channel. So today we're going to do something different with our bills that we've had. We're going to make ourselves a little diorama using the spiders. Um, a while back we made uh, these spiders and we didn't know what to do with them after, but we're going to make a diorama. So you can see there's some spiders, some eggs in there. And uh, over here, there's more spiders, I'll let you see that. And then finally, there's a big spider here. There's two of them there. So um, the concept would be, you know, sort of like a layer for them kind of thing, I guess. I don't know. We're going to try something. So we got our two inch um, styrofoam that we always use and uh, just sort of took the procs on to it. And we want to start this off saying that we're technically sponsored by, but, you know, it's not something we're going to get all the time, by a, a new um it's called sea coat and it's i'll show you it so what we have here is an epoxy that uh, we were sent it's canadian uh made um or brought in from canada i guess uh they are at seaborn avenue and that's uh port uh coculam bc so uh you can get a hold of them at sales at uh, ccorp.ca that's ccorp.ca that's what they have um we're gonna try their new uh you know epoxy again these kind of epoxies are not made for deep pores they're made for tabletops and all that but we're gonna incorporate that with one of the builds so these fine people um uh, sent me a little eight ounce uh, box i'll show you it's nothing big i don't want when the company send me stuff out I, I don't expect you know the huge bottles if they wanted to they can but you can see that uh, they're just eight ounces and it's a one-to-one -one, uh, mix kind of ratio you know so whatever you're mixing you mix the same amount with the hardener and the epoxy uh, again not to go over two to three inches the reasoning that these are not made for that for deep pores is they will there's a chemical in there that allows doesn't allow it to, to uh, uh, cure fast enough when it's in a deep like a thick pour so it gets hot um the example is is with uh, the last one we made oh sorry it was sent out already but uh the storm the snow trooper i poured it a bit too thick and it started to get hot like you could feel the heat coming off it so you have to be careful um i don't think it started fire or anything like that but it could really get ugly so we don't want to do that anyway, we we're going to put some trees with our diorama but I decided that it's, because it's going to be such a small diorama, we're going to go with tree trunks. And I'm going to show you uh, a method of how I do tree trunks and uh, with the roots and all that. So we're going to work on that. So I just basically marked off where I wanted to put the pieces, okay, and all that. So the next step we're going to do, I'll bring you down, you'll see me, is we need, we want like a pool. That's where we're going to put our epoxy. So... What we need to do is get a knife. Now we could use uh, our Proxon, but we don't have, oh, I should have said that. Also the Proxon is being always sponsored in our, our videos because of what they you know, gave to us to use. And we always want to say thank you to Proxon for that. So again, if you're looking for a Proxon dealership, you just Google it. I don't make nothing off it. So I, you know, who to go to is a different story, but they are awesome, awesome for the styrofoam builds like if you're doing dioramas like we do all right let's get back to it so we're just gonna cut out this circle here and we're not gonna go too deep not deep not crazy deep because again we don't want to pour too much epoxy here we just want to make it look like it's a, a swampy kind of an area all we're doing is we're taking out the, the pieces and then we're going to put ourselves some um we don't we use uh, wood filler some people use uh, plaster and other people use like expensive kind of crafting products we don't have that on this channel because we, you know, we, we're not going to go out and buy it we're showing you guys how to use stuff that's affordable what you have in, in your household and go from there. so let me dig this out i'll be right back so the next step was to just put a little bit of mod podge uh black paint and water our basic thing to do just to protect it and we also mixed ourselves um, our wood filler and we really really got it like goopy 
you know, this stuff dries pretty fast, so it's good. So you just want to get it in to the areas so that it'll absorb, you know, it has a lot of texture to it when it's done, when it's dried. That's a good thing, but also it'll help so the epoxy won't sink right in to the hole. That's one thing we don't want to lose is too much epoxy. And we don't want to have to use too much also because, um, you know, it's it's a, it's a shallow um, hole that we're making like a little swampy area here for. So we're just going to get it in there and make sure that all, you know, it all gets in. And then we're going to let it dry a bit. And then we'll put some texture in it. We'll put some stones in it and everything while it's still kind of wet. So that it could dry harder. harder. So then also we want to basically cover our base. And that will help us you know, give us a little bit of bumps and cracks and grooves and stuff like that. right? As this is wet, we're also going to put our uh, spiders on it so it can you know stick to here also that way you don't have to worry about um, doing anything else to it like hot gluing it or anything like that this will allow it to, to bond because wood filler has a glue in it obviously that will harden you could add glue to it if you want that makes it even easier for when you're doing a project like this we're not going to worry about the sides right now we just want to get the top Kind of layered on there and then what we'll do is we'll add our characters that we're using on here i just put it on a piece of styrofoam because there was the paint was a little bit wet and we're just going to push it down to where we want them to go like so and we'll have this guy here All right so we have our main characters in. Now, like I said, we could add, I went to the dollar store because it's still too cold to pick stones out of the ground. I know, you know, you sit there and go, what, you bought stones? Well, they're only a dollar something, two dollars. No big deal. So what I'm gonna do with this is I'm just gonna add some stones everywhere inside, sort of like a filler to our uh, kind of pool, whatever. We have some stones. Then, at the same time, we're going to take our flocking, which I had here, but then they disappeared. Oh, there it is. So, what we have is homemade flocking. And just, I think it's just cut up the red, in fact, that was painted. And we're just going to add that to the diorama. And then, obviously, now we have to let it dry. So drying time on something like this could take the whole day. You know, it depends. We're going to try to hit it with a hair dryer. I'll do that off camera because it's noisy. And then uh, see what happens. Because we still want to add our tree trunks and everything. So let's let this dry and get back. Right. So next we're going to make our tree trunks. So just a piece of uh, cardboard or, or tubing. That's all it is, is paper. And I have these plastic ones. Some of them are just kind of cut up. All we're going to do is take some foil paper and we're just going to wrap it by, first of all, we'll put some hot glue everywhere on it so it'll stick to it. Okay. We're going to get in there and do that. I'm just going to go adding that on there just to, so it sticks to it. Okay. And then all we want to do is wrap our, our piece up. Or tuck it in if you want on the bottom or top. Stay with the side. Doesn't have to be crazy. And then on adding it here, as we do. And then once it's added on there, all you want to do is bunch this up. Alright? So this will become your root system. Alright? 
your scissors to whatever length you want it to be at. Kind of turn it around if you want. Put it in there. I'm just kind of pushing it in like a like a tree would have like it was cut. Okay, like that. Take another piece here. Kind of crunch it up. Add some hot glue. Put it in there. Add that. You go on the inside, the, the back side, wherever you want. You just want to get it so you can get sort of a root system going on. And then the nice thing about this is in the star or in the uh, uh, aluminum foil is you could bend this to any shape you want after. So that's so that's pretty cool. So again, take a piece of your, your, your paper, bunch it up tight enough. I'm just gonna do a couple of root systems here. Some under here. Add another one to the bottom. Like I said, this stuff can be ooh, it's hot. can be added, and you, you're okay with the hot glue being everywhere because we also want this root system to look uh, that it has, you know, it's a tree. So another way of doing it is taking your hot glue and then just running it all along the side of your your tin foil, and then when this dries and you're painting it you'll sort of have like a tree effect. It won't look just like styrofoam, or I say styrofoam, like uh, aluminum foil. So just by adding pieces and dragging it along like this, make sure you have a lot of hot glue. Oop, don't throw it away. It's hot and it's sticky, so be careful. You could add texture in that form. All right. So when you're happy with what that looks like, which you know you play around with it, put enough hot glue everywhere, you have your tree trunk. Um, if you want, you could make you know like a knot by just taking your hot glue. Go in one one spot and then just build it up over and over and over and then you got a nice big chunk sitting there put a hole with your your hot glue mm -hmm. once it warms it, it heats up okay so then you could have sort of like a bump in your tree and if you let that dry it's a lot easier you can play around with that afterwards a little bit of heat bring it around you got a big bump there happening and then again put some on the inside of your tree and that will also help it be all sticky and gluey it's an easy way to texture your trees so we're gonna let this dry and then when it comes back when, when it's dry enough we'll come back and we'll paint it all right stay tuned all right, so we have our trees now you can see the texture I was telling you about um, I just hit it with some just an acrylic paint we're gonna actually use the airbrush and uh, all we're gonna do is add um, we're gonna use this uh, and it's, it's just a transparent it's brown. Uh, I don't know what the name of it is, but it's brown. <laughs> so a good little mix. All right, turn our airbrush on with our fan. What we're gonna do is we're gonna just try to get into where the uh, where the, the hot glue is and all that, where you can, we can make that disappear. For now, just a light little brush. Spray. Okay, we're just gonna let this dry um, and then we're gonna add some more paint after 
it takes maybe 10 minutes or so to get it nice and dry so hold it so <laughs> again winded more than i was supposed to without recording it but there's a spider there's a spider there's a spider there's a spider and there's two spiders and there's one spider up there so the white stuff is just mod podge it's just the glue what's happening is i kind of coiled it what happened is is i covered it and uh added a little bit of trees inside where the water's gonna go where the epoxy is gonna go i should say and uh you know put some greenery i still want to do a little bit of coloring on the sides here on the, on the bottom maybe bring a little bit of green down make it look like it's gooey uh still's gotta dry or else you won't see the eggs <laughs> and then yeah so tomorrow we'll do the pour there's the trees the stumps i forgot to tell you guys about that so they worked out pretty good it looks pretty good it looks like a big tree sitting in, in the stump and uh these two this one's overhanging that one and there's one oh, one back here somewhere <laughs> anyway we'll finish it up tomorrow all right, all right guys. so we're going to start off with a coat of this uh sea coat <laughs> i should say a, a pour of the sea coat um it's going to go into the hole so i'm going to show you here we made like a little bit of a hole there that's gonna be like the swampy area. So I used an ounce of the resin and an ounce of the hardener. So they're both, this is the resin and black wood is the, the hardener. And uh, right off the bat, I find that the mixing is a lot better um, than what I usually use, what I, I use the pour on. So I don't find it as bubbly, like inside, which is a good sign. Uh, I'm not sure if this is a, a good ratio of how much I should pour yet because it's only two ounces. It should make a little bit. Sorry for the noise. My boy loves to scream when he plays video games. Ooh, drives me nuts. Um, but we also have some uh, a transparent dye that I want to give a nice big squirt of, and that's going to be like a green, a greenish, very greenish. Is that a word? Green kind of dye uh, look to it. So we're going to go with this kind of look in there because this is sort of like swampy I don't know, yucky looking um, area I also added uh, some more you see the balls in there those are like little pearls they're fake they're just beads um, just for more like an egg uh, look and what I wanted to do with that is and I'm gonna try it uh, is just add a little bit of uh, our epoxy to it, our new epoxy. Maybe I'll just bring down, bring down the, the the look, the color, whatever. So here we go. We're gonna throw a pour in here, and um, yeah, nothing special. I just want to pour it in there to see what it'll look like when it's done. I think we're gonna just stick with the two ounces in here. That should be good enough. And then you know what we could do is just add a little bit of just epoxy resin to our our diorama, you know, to the spiders, to the trees. It'll hit the webs. We'll scrape some of that off here too. Ooh, look at itchy, you know, kind of thing. See how that works out in the long run. So we never used this stuff before. This is the first time time for everything um again uh, i got this from bc uh, it was sent us it looks like a nice little product and then uh, we're just going to add some everywhere plus th this should help just like the other resin it will help keep you know stuff down if you really wanted to you don't have to it's just it's there i mean i'm sure like this, this diorama would not go anywhere, period. It's pretty solid. But if you wanted to add just some, some flavor, some texture, you know, kind of thing, it won't hurt to do that. And then we'll try to get as much as we can out of here. Yeah, because we don't like the waste. I've said that before. Um, yeah, so, you know, first look. I don't see a problem with this epoxy. I know that they said that it's not 
uh, a deep pour, and I think I said that earlier, not a deep pour epoxy. So it's not made to do what we're doing here, but it's epoxy. So um, for a diorama, it looks, it looks, you know, that it, it could work. What I did was, again, we ended up putting some uh, wood filler on the whole project. So hopefully this doesn't soak through any more than it has to. I don't think it is. It's not going to go anywhere. It shouldn't go anywhere. There's no really place for it to go, really. Um, and it looks like it's a self-leveler too, so which is good. Because that means it'll go into place. So I think I like that. And I don't care if there's bubbles in here. Because it's going to be a swampy kind of an area. Look, that's what we're going with. So it's you no. Know, okay. And then there's a little bit of we can take it our torch to it if we want let's let's do that let's just take a second this is pretty much um i think this is pretty much done in here there's just a minute amount which if you're fussy and you want to get it all out get a scraper a spatula whatever and get it all out but i think that's that's a plenty we can't keep the stick for anything uh we're gonna see how it hardens too so we're gonna leave that like that Let's just take our torch for one second. Put a little bit of burn mark. That just cuts down the bubbles, but this is a, a swampy looking thing, so the bubbles are allowed to be in there. So yeah, I don't think that looks good. Um, let me bring you down here, hold on. All right, so this is what it looks like final. Um, you know, it's got the green swampy look to it. You know, we added our transparent dye, uh, which we got at Michael's, which is good. And, uh, yeah, we, it, I think it looks pretty good. It's, uh, I like the fact that I'm going to keep it so there are bubbles. <laughs> and if I can get some more out of there, I'd be even better. But I'm going to leave it at that. Even if there's bubbles, I think that's going to look fine. We kind of coated in there so it kind of gets a little bit coated. It's, it's not as colorful because I didn't airbrush any of that. I just figured I'd leave it at that and uh see what it looks like so there's the back again these were all just pieces i had um i had three pieces you know and i figured what am i gonna do with them let's just do this a couple little cave things there's a big spider in that one a couple spiders there one sitting on top of here where is he up there you know and then they got the swamp down there so yeah i'm pretty impressed again resin uh, uh sec Corp, I guess sequel resin um, again if you guys want I can uh, you can message me and I can tell you where to get it from if you want to try it I mean I don't think it's too expensive uh, they were kind enough to send it to me to, to try it out so anyway uh, that's it this is what we built so again if I can do it you can do it uh, choose your own path guys like uh, and be safe all right see you on the next one